Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to design your own coloring book just by using Canva. So friends, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to design the amazing coloring book interior just by using Canva. I hope you are excited and I hope you are ready to learn. So friends, without any further delay, let's dive into the video and let's learn how to design the coloring book by using Canva. So friends, first of all, let's go to Chrome here. So friends, first of all, let me show you some of the pages that I have made and uh, it was made in a pretty short amount of time. So you guys can make a lot better if you give a lot more time. So friends, as you can see, this is one and this is the next page. And likewise, I have made another page here. So guys, in this way, you can design your coloring book. So friends, what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new design and we are going to select a custom size here. And we are going to select inches here. As you guys probably know, the most widely used size of the coloring book is 8.5 by 11 inches. So considering the bleed, we are going to insert 8.625 here in the white section and 11.25 in the height section. So guys, this is the size of the interior after taking into account the bleed. So guys, we are going to hit create a new design. So guys, after that, what we are going to do is we are going to go to this file tab here and click this show margin here. So guys, as you can see, the margin has been shown. So guys, now we are going to design a coloring page. So guys, first of all, let's add some text to our coloring page here. So guys, what we are going to do is we are going to add a simple text here. So guys, let's add some simple text here. All I am doing is adding some text here. As you guys can see, I have added some text here. So guys, let's increase the font of this text. So guys, make sure that everything that you are using in your coloring book is within this margin. So after selecting the proper font size, now what we are going to do is we are going to select our text here and we are going to go to this effects tab here. So after going to effects tab, we are going to go to this hollow tab here. So guys, as you can see, our text has been successfully converted to outlines only. So guys, now what we are going to do is we are going to add some beautiful vectors in this page. So we are going to go to this elements tab and search for different vectors. So guys, let's search for some flowers. So guys, before selecting the particular flowers, make sure that the flowers are, are colorable and they can be properly colored. So as you can see some recommendations here. It's little bit more dark. So friends, if your flowers has got dark borders, then what you can do is go to this color tab and make it little bit lighter. This seems okay. Let's make this lighter too. So friends, let's add some spinach here. As you guys can see, spinach seems pretty good. 
but what we have to make sure is we have to make sure that it has got borders to it so we can remove the colors so friends i think this will look good no this don't have but borders let's select something different i think this will look good let's remove the borders and let's make it black so friends as you can see this looked this looks pretty good so friends while selecting the elements all you have to make sure is you have to make sure that it is colorable and it has got distinct borders to it so friends select the elements that is colorable and has got some distinct outline so friends now what we are going to do is we are going to go to this elements tab again we are going to go to this elements tab and we are going to add some simple hand drawn objects you can see here simple hand drawn objects and we are going to add some of the objects so friends let's add the object and let's position it So friends as you can see different objects here we can add some circles also so friends as you can see I have added various different elements now and this coloring piece is taking its final form as you can see so friends let's copy this circle and let's fill fill up the places so friends as you can see here are different beautiful elements that we can use in our book so friends as you can see let's not use this as you can see here different hand drawn elements that looks good on a coloring base and that is colorable so friends as you can see it has taken a just copy the circles and fill the empty area to make it look good and make sure that circles are of different sizes which give your coloring piece interior a more profound and more elegant look so friends let's add one more circle here so friends as you can see the coloring page has taken some form here so friends as you can see the coloring page has taken some form here and finally what 
we can do is we can go to this element section and search for let's search for rectangle and let's add a rectangle here so friends this is very important to add borders to your coloring page so friends as you can see we have added border here and now what we have to make sure is we have to make sure everything that we have drawn is inside the border so friends as you can see this spinach is little bit out of our border so friends in this case what we can do is we can add another rectangle we can add another rectangle and we can color it white so friends as you can see now nothing is outside the border we can similarly we can we can copy it what we can do is we can copy this rectangle and and drag it down here so friends as you can see everything is inside options it is one little bit mistake here so let let that so friends as you can see everything is inside let's bring it to front and beautiful coloring piece is ready so friends i hope you found this tutorial of little bit help and if you found it helpful please make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a nice day and thank you for watching guys